The dignity of a human being is not simply bodily integrity, it's not health, it's not, uh, it's not uh, the, the possibility for, uh, for freedom. It's, all of those things are held together in the human being's ability to give oneself away. If I can put this in a slightly different way, the fundamental right of a human being, the fundamental um, testimony to the dignity of the human person is not the right to be loved, it's the right to love. It's the capacity of every human being to give himself or herself away. That's why human beings must have freedom of speech. That's why they must have freedom of assembly. That's why they must have freedom of movement. That, because without them, they cannot give themselves away totally and richly to others. It's the capacity to give oneself away. What, therefore, are we doing when we tend to the bodily health or the mental health of our brothers and sisters? We're not simply honoring them or recognizing their worth or their value because they happen to be part of the same species that we are. What we are doing is we are honoring those who do what God is. God is love. We get to do what God is. We get to enact love. So the goal of tending another human being is not simply to keep them breathing or to keep them comfortable. It's to make them capable, to restore them to a point that they can genuinely give themselves away to another. That's the great mission.